हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर मिलन पटेल आई एम वर्किंग इन महात्मा गांधी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च सेंटर नवसारी टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द डिजाइन ऑफ अ सिंप्लेक्स लैब वाइंडिंग इट इज टॉपिक फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल डिजाइन सब्जेक्ट कोड टू वन फाइव जीरो नाइन जीरो फोर इट इज अ चैप्टर थ्री फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट सो नाउ फ्लो ऑफ कंटेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंडीशन फॉर द सिंप्लेक्स लैप वाइंडिंग देन प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन देन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इट डेवलप फॉर्म ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड सिक्वेंस डायग्राम ऑफ द अबो प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन then problem number 2 same calculation develop form and sequence diagram and previously asked gtu questions so it is very important topic regarding our gtu examination now conditions for the simplex lap winding so first condition is that the back pitch yb and the front pitch yf must be nearly equal to the pole pitch tau p so first condition is that the back pitch yb and yb must be nearly equal to the pole pitch tau p and second condition is yb and yf must be odd so the value of yb and yf must be in odd digit third condition they should not equal but the difference between them should be equal to 2 means the difference between yb and yb is equal to 2 they should not equal and fourth condition is that the commutator pitch yc should be plus or minus 1 so commutator pitch yc should be plus or minus 1 in this plus 1 is for the progressive lap winding and minus 1 is for the retrogressive lap winding then the question arises that what is the progressive winding and the what is the retrogressive winding if the winding is progresses in the direction from left to right then it is called progressive winding and if the winding is progresses in right to left direction then it is called retrogressive winding so last condition is that winding or resultant pitch y should be even number so resultant winding sorry resultant pitch or winding pitch y should be even number now one equation is required for the finding the back pitch and the front pitch so the equation is given by y here uh, this is one mistake this is uh, yb yb is equal to 2c by p plus or minus k and again yb is given by yf plus 2 so simply we can get the value of yf from Minusing two from this yb, so yf is given by yb minus two, where c is equal to number of coils, which is given in the problem. P is the number of poles. Then k is equal to plus or plus one for the progressive, and k is equal to minus one for the retrogressive, as discussed earlier. So, problem number one. Design a simplex lap winding for eighteen slots, six pole, two conductor per slot in developed form, and also draw sequence diagram. So this is our problem statement. So now, first of all, calculations for the above given problem and winding table. So our uh, main given data is that there is two conductor per slot. in one slot there are two conductors so total number of conductors we can find by 
18 which is the number of slots multiply by 2 because in each slot there, is, there are 2 conductors so total number of conductors is equal to 36 so from this 36 conductor we can find the number of coils is equal to 36 by 2 is equal to 18 number of coils because we know that the coil is consist of 2 conductor now number of pole is equal to 6 which is given in the data now assume k is equal to plus 1 for the progressive winding if uh, in data if not given that progressive or retrogressive then we have to assume k is equal to plus 1 for the progressive always so now back pitch yb is given by 2c by p plus k so 2c means this is the 2c so 36 p means number of pole 6 plus 1 which is a value of k for progressive so this value is 6 plus 1 so we will get the value of yb is equal to 7 and it is odd number so our first condition is satisfied then front pitch yf is given by or obtained by yb minus 2 so it is a 7 minus 2 is equal to 5 again it is a odd it is an odd number so winding pitch y or resultant pitch y is equal to given by yb minus yf for the lap winding so it is 2 and it is an even number so our third condition is also satisfied so now create winding table create winding table always winding is start from conductor number one always winding is start from conductor number one so now uh, winding table is like this so this is number one conductor and we know the back p is seven so our next conductor is find found by 1 plus yb and here our yb is 7 so 1 plus 7 8 now it is a left winding that's why next conductor of a second coil is found by this is a front conductor and this is a back conductor that's why this is a yf and this is yb so yb is positive and yf is negative for the lab winding so this is 1 1 plus yb yb is 7 so 1 plus 7 8 now yf but it is minus so 8 minus yf means 5 so 8 minus 5 3 3 plus 7 10 10 minus 5 5 5 plus 7 12 12 minus 5 7 7 plus 7 14 so all these values are getting like this so this is the winding table one confusion will arise over here when the 29 plus yb means 29 plus 7 will occur 36 and our total conductor is 36 so then 36 minus 5 is again 31 now 31 plus 7 it will 39 it is 30 sorry 38 this is 38 but we know that total number of conductor is 36 so minus this total number from the 38 so 38 minus 36 is equal to 2 again this is actually 38 so 38 minus again 5 is equal to 33 33 plus 7 is equal to 40 and 40 minus 36 is equal to 4 same 35 and this is 6 simply we can write like this 13579 like this and here 1 plus 7 8 so 8 10 12 14 32 34 36 
and from 436 remaining conductors are 246 and then 8 so this is a winding table from this from this winding table we will draw the winding diagram in develop form and sequence diagram so now this is a winding diagram so first of all we have to draw all the 36 number of conductors all the 36 number of conductor we know that here total 18 coils are there so there are 18 front conductor and 18 back conductors are there so first of all we have to draw 18 front conductor like this 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 etc till the last 35 and it is denoted by or defined by straight line and its number is right in top of it now in between all the top conductor we have to draw back conductors like this in dotted form so these all are the back conductors in dotted form and its numbering is at bottom of the conductor so these are 2 4 6 8 10 12 etc etc like and last one is 36 so this is front conductor this is back conductor so now after doing this or draw, draw this all this conductor we have to follow the winding table so winding is start from conductor number one so one is connected with eight and eight is a one is front conductor and this is a back conductor so one is connected like this to the eight and eight is again back conductor that's why it is draw dotted from then eight to eight to three so eight to three then three to this ten ten to five five to twelve twelve to seven seven to fifteen sorry fourteen fourteen to nine nine to sixteen so complete all the connections from the winding table so after drawing all the conductors connections our winding be like this now it's time to provide pole positions pole positions here total number of poles are given six and total number of conductors are 36 so by dividing 36 conductor by the six pole this 36 conductors divided by the the six pole each pole consists six conductors each pole consists six conductors but from practical and theoretical view the one pole each and every pole cover only 70 to 80 percent of the coils so we have to remain one conductor before the pole and one conductor after the pole as it is not covered under the pole same for these two conductors are pole this pole this for this end pole these two are for this s these two are for end pole now provide names like this first one is n pole then s pole n pole then s pole n pole and s pole one 
things must be remain that the adjacent poles should not same so this end and this end this will not occur always consider the two adjacent pole as opposite polarity like ns ns now after drawing these poles we have to give directions to the conductors so again there are six conductor under the one pole so provide upper direction of current to the first six poles then next six is downward current then next six call is upward current then again six downward six upward currents then six downward current. one thing should remain in mind that for n pole always consider the current direction upward for s pole always consider the direction downward same thing n pole upward s pole downward n pole upward s pole downward now by completing this pole positions now it's time to provide commutators now it's time to provide commutators so first coil is completed like this first coil is completing like this and this is the main connection between the coil number 1 so provide commutator 1 over here then commutator 2 then commutator 3 Number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we know that there are eighteen coils. So total number of commutators are also eighteen. So these are the commutator eighteen number of commutators are there. Now, last thing to provide brush to provide brus for collecting the current or applying the current it will collect the current in generating action and it will give the current in motoring action so again number of poles is equal to 6 so in lap winding number of commutators uh, is number of commutators are also same as the number of poles so we have six number of commutators so total number of commutators are 18 so we have two placed brushes sorry number of brushes equal to 6 so we have to provide by the same distance so first commutator is sorry first brush is provided on the commutator number 1 and give the plus sign then add the number of four commutator number four again one brush is provided and it is minus then remaining two commutator as it is again positive brush then sorry this is positive brush this is negative brush this is positive this is negative this is wrong thing this is by mistake only placed so now connect all the positive brushes connect all the positive brushes like this so this plus this plus this plus are connected by each other and this is minus 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 connected by each other and this is main positive this is main negative so this is the developed form of the lap winding so it is most imp now we will discuss sequence diagram it is also very important diagram uh, it is also asked in gtu examination with the developed diagram uh, the main uh, function of sequence diagram to show the current directions of each and every conductor which are used in the lap winding so first of all we have to draw total 36 number of conductors like 
this then then give the numbering so all the bot top conductors are given by 1 3 5 7 9 till 35 and all the bottom conductors are given the names 6 8 10 12 14 34 36 2 4 6 so now from the winding table 1 to 8 so this is conductor number 1 and it is connected to the 8 so from the winding table connect all the conductors like this now provide brushes to each coil so now first brush is at conductor 1 and 6 so this is first brush second brush is at conductor 7 and conductor 14 this is third brush this is fourth fifth and sixth brush so mark positive for the brush number 1 negative for second plus minus plus minus uh, it is from the developed diagram now give current directions to the conductor which are placed at the brushes four positive brushes mark upward direction now for negative brush mark both the conductor downward current same again for positive for positive brush mark upward direction for negative brush downward direction for positive upward upward for negative downward downward now it's time to remaining conductors so remaining conductors are given direction alternate so this is for upward so downward upward downward upward then both are downward then upward downward upward downward both are upward so downward upward downward upward like mark all the directions for the all the conductors which are used in the diagram so then connect all the positive brushes like this this brush like this and all the negatives with each other by this and give one common terminal for positive and negative so this is the sequence diagram for the per our problem now G2 questions which are asked in previous examinations so this is the first problem which is uh, which was asked in May June 2012 this is asked in winter 2016 and this is asked in winter 2015 so it is a very important topic regarding our GTU examination and uh, it is uh, mostly asked in 7 marks so very important theory this is so thank you for hearing me and uh, please uh, try by yourself at home again thank you